So you're saying Stone's stealing Maywood Glen's water and selling it back to us for profit. Ugh, that son of a rooster. And by taking our agua, he made Maywood Glen's drought even worse. Ugh. So we're taking the agua back, but we don't have that much time. Stone's going to realize what's happening any moment. Well, I'm all for taking that greedy hog down, but I still don't see how this is going to work. We're trying to create a dam in the aquifer to block the water going under Stone Acres and redirect it right around his property while leaving you all you need. In order to divert the water, we're pumping in a mixture of powder mortar containing calcium hydroxide and fertilizer with fluoride, creating a fast-acting cement that dams the water at the bottom of your well. It's really very similar to my rainbow foam, how it creates layers, but not as pretty. Oh, tasty. Mm -mm. Muchas gracias. Mm. Do you have Stone's watch? Nice. Dad's in trouble. It's a biometric fingerprint lock. Probably coded to Stone's fingerprint, making it impossible to enter. <laughs> industrial exhaust. They're melting plastics for their bottles. He won't survive breathing all the toxins. <laughs> then if we can't get in, we're just gonna have to get him out. Come on, Addison, pull up a schematic of the building. Way ahead of you. Okay. We're heading to the basement. And exactly how do you intend on getting him out? There. The load-bearing beams under the cleaning room are rated to hold 35,000 pounds. If we can weaken the point load beam, even just a little bit... The roof will cave in. And the floor under Dad with it. Are you kidding me? You got a better idea? Look! Let's do it. No, no, no! Do you think we've cut it enough? I have no idea. Something I can help you with? It's over, Stone. No more poisoning the environment. Or our father. Oh, it's too late for him. He'll be gone in about. Oh, looking for this? Take them. Welcome, hackers. Sorry I couldn't be there to greet you in person. But I'm thrilled you could drop in. Well, that took an unexpected turn. You've got to be kidding me. Another trash dump? The walls are closing in. Guys, I have this horrible feeling that we've been looking at Retro's plan all wrong. He never wanted the hackers to join him. He wanted to eliminate them. No competition, no one to stop him. He only becomes more powerful. By turning us into bananas. T-A-G-W-W-B-T-S. Things are getting worse and worse by the second. We have to find something to help us get out of here. I found some rope. Now we just need something sharp and spiky to use this grappling hook. 
had to be the hacker with the ladder. Come on, give it to us. Fine. It's for a good cause. We get to live. Hurry, faster. Immediately. Retro's plan to eliminate the hackers means he's really up the stakes. I'm not getting any service. Are you guys? <sighs> Me neither. No bars on my phone. We're having a blackout. Retro's shutting down the entire grid. Which means no cell? Which means no Insta? No Twitter? No Snapchat? No internet! Oh. Haven't seen Al in a while, seeking visual contact. Yo, what are you supposed to be? The wings and fire motif didn't give it away. I'm a dragon. A girl dragon? Not likely. <laughs> Newsflash, dragons are dudes. Dragons are dudes. According to who? Uh, according to us, oh. actually, yeah. You know, everyone knows that dragons are supposed to be big and intimidating and scary. And, uh, girls are none of the above. Mm -mm. Oh, really? <laughs> Trust me, I can be pretty scary. Let me demonstrate. Hey, enough. Look, if you two jokers... Actually, I'm a jester. ...ever want a girl to like you, name-calling and nasty jokes are not the way to go. Trust me. And show some respect. Uh, I can take it from here. Sir mansplains a lot. <laughs> Although, he's totes on point. Jeez, we were just goofing around. Yeah. Well, that excuse is not an excuse. Grow up. Are you okay? Yeah, I was perfectly fine standing up for myself, but thank you. No problem, my lady. My very own knight in shining? Are you kidding me? Justin? Hey. Do I know you? I see you, Zoro. I'll raise you one. President and Swan Princess. 
It's time for me to crown this year's Fantasy Masquerade Queen and King. Can I borrow this? Hi. This will just take a second. I'm looking for a unicorn, a uh, uh, elusive and mysterious creature. So rare, in fact, that it is impossible to find her in this crowd. You see, I, uh, I really like this unicorn and I have been chasing her all night. In fact, I have been chasing her all year. Where are you, my unicorn? Remind me to surprise you more often. I usually don't like frosting, but this is killer good. I need you to call Brian Cam. And then we saw for sure, meaning Lazarus is behind everything. She's been watching the quail and I this entire time. Now it makes sense why she quit today. I guess running an evil empire is more rewarding than making scones. <laughs> Guys. This whole thing has been about Lazarus getting revenge on the quail and innovate. We have to stop her. Michaela, the quail said this was too dangerous. And I believe her. Now more than ever, you have to let it go. Besides, if something happened to you, we'd never forgive ourselves. Come on, I, I can't do this alone. I need you. Emma, we're responsible for all this going wrong in the first place. Clearly, we're not cut out to be secret agents. You're all more capable than you know. I have total faith in you guys. That's just it. We don't have faith in ourselves. We're sorry, Em. Me too. <laughs> <laughs>